Hello guys and welcome to another vlog on making a game and we are working on a open world game and the last video that I show you was to show you the workflow how do I go about like creating an open world and how I divide my assets you can check that out if you want this is part two of this open world building blog and I want to show you the first pass that I did for the rocks and the landscape is very, very simple. So let's start with the landscape first. So the landscape has a function here. It does have like the camera fade length and the camera offset. All right. So what it does is depending on how far my camera is, you will see that the tiling changes and in distance, the tiling, it's very big. So it's very blurry, but as soon as I zoom in, you will see that the tiling gets really close. And I can achieve this by just using the camera depth fade node. I'm gonna show you some, all right? So I have two layers so far, two layers here, one and two, and I'm just using the landscape, landscape layer blend for this. Now, the reason why I'm choosing to use landscape lay and blend like this and not like uh, normally before I will blend with materials like make material attributes and I will just, uh, you know, just make the make the materials from here and then put this into a single layer. In my experience, this is way more optimize if you check the performance of this world my computer is really old so just keep that in mind uh i do have uh pretty much everything is green and the landscape it's um uh, it's still on the very good areas of what we would call performance there is a red one there but that's for lod's things uh ignore that for now but in general the landscape and the rocks are using a very optimized material so what it is what it does is basically you have the landscape layer and what you can do is just put in the textures just like you do before you can take a screenshot of this if you want and then use the alpha that is here the camera depth fade to basically blend between two different tilings, like the one for close tiling and the one for far tiling. You connect those and you repeat the same for the roughness and then for the normal map. As soon as you have this, you can just use your material function here and then you can use other textures like this one, for example, and you don't need to redo everything. You can just use the same. So as soon as you do this, you can start painting your landscape and everything's done. So far, we only have like one material. That's why it looks like this. But in general, you can see how much it helps to just have the, the tiling changing a lot. That's like the number one priority when creating materials for me. Like the tiling, it's not very evident. Even with one material, when we paint more, it will be less and less evident. So with that said let's go back to the rock master material and the rock master material is using something different we are using war aligned textures and that pretty much is giving us things like this where we can just move this around and you can see like the textures are moving here just like that and by doing so we are we can duplicate these ones and you won't really realize that they are like the same mesh just because like it, it blends very nicely all the textures are pretty much connected on three dimensions right so the cool thing about this method is that it's very cheap you just need to use the war aligned texture for each base color normal and mask and do the same for what we did in the landscape, which we are using the camera depth fade. And when using this alpha, we are just blending between the camera fade. So we also have like, when we go far away, we change the tiling of everything and everything just 
it's not like tiling the whole time it's it's a very nice method the downside of this is you cannot use virtual textures for blending with the landscape is you if you use it like this i don't know if i will change it in the future but we will see so i have the same for layer two and for making i'm using like a world mask that i can change to blend between these two materials and a height layer so how it looks like if i open my material instance here you will see that i i have some parameters that i can play with uh, so for example my world masking you can see that i can just change like the contrast for example i can just change it like this if i want it less or more i also have the work mask size I can make it smaller to more tiling or bigger so i find that these values work very well for me and by combining these two it's just really hard to see the tiling here like even when you are really close to the object and by the way we're using 2k textures for this we don't need to use 4k so whenever we want some textures for example let's go to fab mega scan surfaces and let's go for this one uh, you will see that it's 2k and what i do is just right click here then we can just go for uh let's go for the size uh, let, let me see if i can find it uh, texture source action reduce size and here you can check which size you want like 20 512 or 124 whatever like for me like 4k is too much so 2k is more than enough for this when it ties like this it's very performance friendly so that's it for the world masking we will be working on more areas of this environment uh, probably like here we'll have like different layers of sand like you know like different colors different colors that the player can differentiate between one area and another so so far uh this is like the world building part this is how i like to make the open worlds i don't really detail as much detail much here i tend to leave those for later i just want one material for everything so when i update it every single asset is being updated and is using the same material so that's the most smart way to to do that so with that being said i hope you you enjoy this video if you do let me know in the comments which type of topic you wanna you wanna see and if you are interested in these blogs just let me know and i will keep doing them and with that i'll see you in the next one